Bonjour tout le monde, bienvenue à la classe de français, welcome to French class. Aujourd'hui c'est le mercredi 22 avril 2020, it's Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. Nous allons commencer, let's start. Notre mot de la journée, a word of the day, c'est l'herbe. L'herbe is the grass. Si je regarde l'herbe, il y a un peu de neige dessous. If I look at the grass, there's a little bit of snow on it. L'herbe is an interesting word because the H that starts the word is a constant, but in French we treat it like a vowel when it starts a word. So in this case we use L, an apostrophe, to signify le or la, but we don't know if it is le or la, so we've got to look it up and figure out what is l'herbe. Est-ce que c'est masculin ou est-ce que c'est féminin? Dans ce cas, in this case, I've looked it up, it is a feminine noun. So it's technically la herbe, but because the A and the H work like two vowels together, we say l'herbe. Bon. Notre expression, notre expression de la journée, our expression is pink eye, which in French is la conjonctivite. La conjonctivite. Quatre syllables, four syllables. Conjonctivite. Bon. Uh, le pink eye, ce n'est pas une bonne chose. Si tu as le pink eye, reste à la maison. Si tu as conjonctivite, ne viens pas à l'école. If you have this, don't come to school. It's quite contagious. But no problem with that right now. Bon, uh, a little update about the work given yesterday. So I had a couple of students message me about that Duolingo podcast, which I sent out about the uh, the woman from the Cameroon. Really cool podcast. If you get a chance to access it, please do so whenever you have time, which may not say, well, that was good. Uh, what do I want to say about that? I want to say that whenever you click on the link, and I'm going to open up the link in my browser, and I'm going to read exactly what it says. So whenever you click on episode two it says transcript then click here for study materials for this episode and where it says here it's all in gray and it's in, in italics if you click there it should take you to a google doc um it is a public google doc as well too so you don't need to sign into a google account so for those of you who are saying you can't access access it i'm not sure why it's not working maybe log out of your google account your thames valley account log back in log in different account it should come up easily. I've tried it with different accounts, so I'm not having any problems. So try it again. Have someone at home try it for you as well too. You can save a copy for yourself, which is great. Um, but I really encourage you to listen to those two Duolingo podcasts that we've posted this week and last week. It's great to hear different French speakers. We've heard a man speaking French, a woman speaking French, both from different parts of the world, which is awesome. So we gotta learn about French speakers all over the world. So let's do that. That's a great way to do it. Um, if you find it's going quickly, the words are at the bottom of the screen. And you can always use an online dictionary, uh, even Google Translate, to put a word in there to figure out what that word means. Bon. On va parler de la classe de demain. Let's talk about tomorrow. Um, Madame Halleck a posté quelque chose uh, sur son site web. Miss Halleck posted something to us as teachers. And I think it was on her class page too. I'm not sure. But il y a deux choses demain qui passent. Two things tomorrow. Uh, Numéro 1, c'est porter votre couleur préférée. Wear your favorite color tomorrow. Um, je porte le noir aujourd'hui. I'm wearing black today. Je porte une cravate. Mais demain, je vais porter mon couleur préférée. I'm wearing my favorite color tomorrow. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oh, tu vas voir. You need to see tomorrow. <coughs> Mais la deuxième chose, the second thing, it's National Poem in Your Pocket Day tomorrow. And one of the tasks is going to be to create a poem. On va faire ça en français. So we're going to do that in French. We're going to explain that today. And then Today's, after you're done watching this video, going into tomorrow, you can work on making this poem. And I'm going to focus on making a haiku. And a haiku is written poem avec 17 syllables. 17 dix, 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 dix syllables. 17 syllables. 5, 7, 5. Et on va faire les haiku basé sur nos couleurs préférées. We're going to make haikus based on our favorite color. Bon, I'm going to post a WikiHow article at the bottom of the screen in the comment section so you can see exactly how a haiku is made. I think Mr. S's class and the grade 7 class, the other grade, Mr. Johnson's class, or with Mr. Wanker, I think haikus were already done this year. I know Mr. S did poetry. Grade 8's who had Mr. S last year. You've done some poems as well, too. Say, well, so we're going to look at that. What I want you to do is you're going to create a little haiku based on a favorite color. I'm going to post mine here in a second. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your favorite color. So I see about couleur préférée and think of objects that are that color. On doit chercher les mots qui sont en français. 
you got to find those French color words. You've got to find those French object items as well too. And then you're going to try to assemble that to make a little small poem as a writing task. Now, if you want, <clears throat> which I strongly encourage us to, send me the poem. I would like to see that. Plus, we're going to send that poem to Mrs. Cloutier as well too. Or I can send them to her as well too. What we want to do is have some staff or even have some students read those poems. We're trying to send good, positive messages out into our Algonquin community. So I thought it'd be great. Um, they suggested to make a, an acrostic, but we've done acrostic poems this year. So let's tackle something different with a haiku. Have a little more fun with this. And if we can get a couple out there en français to our Algonquin community, that'd be lovely. Just show us that people are doing some work and they're having fun and those two things particularly. Boom. So I'm going to post mine at the bottom of the screen here and then I'm going to read it as well too. Okay. Voici mon haiku. Le ciel, l'océan, les murs, mes jeans, mes souliers, toutes ces choses sont bleues. So the translation is the sky, the ocean, blueberries, my jeans, my shoes, all of these things are blue. If you count those syllables, le ciel, l'océan, there's five, il est cinq. Les murs, blueberries, mes jeans, mes souliers, voici sept. Tous ces choses sont bleues. And you'll see I've got an S at the end of bleu because it's I've got plural nouns in there, so I've got to make my adjective plural as well too. So if your favorite color is pink, which is rose, tu dois avoir R-O-S-E-S. -E bon, so I want you to think about some things. Like You can base your poem off of mine. Mine's a great little example. Think about things that are related to your color or make a poem about your color. But work on that for today. Getting into tomorrow as well too. Send me a copy of it. Send me an email. Have your email tell us be mohaiku, M-O-N, mohaiku. And then send me your haiku, and we can talk about if you want it read to our whole school community. Okay? Well, sase sapo ocean. That's that for today. If you are still stuck with those Duolingo podcast materials, please fire me off a quick email. We can get them sent to you. Um, use the WikiHow article to help out with your haiku. Take some time to think about that too. If you want to record it and send it to me as well to get some more oral and reading marks, that'd be lovely as well. Work on pronunciation. If you're not sure how to pronounce a word, put it into Google Translate. Make sure you spell it properly. Click on that speaker button and the Google Voice will read it back to you. Copy and mimic that pronunciation. Bon, c'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's all for today. Passe une bonne journée. Have a great day. Et je vais te voir demain. We'll see you tomorrow. Au revoir.